I want to get back to three liters a day. One, two. I had a uh, couple of days last week where I didn't drink as much water as I normally do. Yeah. And I really felt the difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really felt it. So drink your water. Well, I remember when I used to start, when I started drinking three liters a day and I was like, whoa, I'm so energized. The the downside is you piss a lot. But it's that nice when you see a clear piss and you're like, oh, oh. I've heard this is good. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard the clear piss is good, so I'm on the right track. Are we on now? Because that was quite a good chat. That I think that'll be, like the little, that'll be the little preamble. <laughs> that'll be the preamble. You yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Welcome to Drum and Drummer, a podcast focused on drums, drumming and drummers. I'm George Pickering and that's Ben Winty and we are both professional drummers in this business we call music. So stick around and join us as we pass the time whilst trying to stay in time. Janine, Janine. Yeah. What do you want on? Blade. Yeah, yeah. I was just watching Wesley Snipes just going <laughs> mental in a club, <laughs> pouring with blood through the sprinklers. Welcome to Drum and Drummer. Welcome. I didn't know what was coming. I thought it was going to be something German. Do you yeah. know what? Willkommen was running through my head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I yeah. thought, I've done that a lot. Yeah, And I'm not German. So it's actually a shock to get a normal... Welcome to Drum and Drummer. You Welcome know? to Drum and Drummer. Straight in, George. How was your birthday? It's, uh, yeah, it was good. Not the best, not the worst. Right. Um, I had COVID. Yes. So last time we recorded was last monday and i was not well as you can hear in the episode <laughs> i sounded awful when i was um, editing i was like oh he sounds worse now than when <laughs> i thought i was it's, chatting to you ridiculous i think yeah. i listened back to like the audiograms i was like this is i'm so sorry this <laughs> i was like have i got a filter on the on a plug-in <laughs> or something a covid yeah. filter it wasn't good um but then i think wednesday night the night before my birthday I uh, I'd made some gingerbread because it's you know it's winter and, what I you thought, do. and I like bacon you know, so I made some gingerbread and I was like this is this is no flavour to it whatsoever, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and then Elfie was like no it's all right and I was like no it's not good and then she was like maybe you've got COVID I was like maybe I do have COVID, so I did a test and like as soon as I you know put the little liquid in the thing it was it was two lines pretty much immediately i was like fuck so this is the night before my birthday and uh yeah as we know i'd had some plans i had mm. some plans for the day and i wasn't and stuff on it breakfast bowling gig drinks but i wasn't really gonna do anything anyway because i was like it's 29 i wait till the 30th next year and save it for that a friend of mine was like no no no, you gotta do something i was like all right you know and then but i hate I mean, all organized stuff. Belfie was quite good at trying to do most of that. But in, in the end, I had to cancel it all. And then my birthday was, we just, we got some nice food, did a sort of spread, mm -hmm. and uh, um, watched Lord of the Rings, the second, you know, because I haven't seen any films. So we started yeah. the second one. But I was a bit, because I had COVID, I was a bit sort of out of it. So I was trying to, trying to keep up with what was going on and it's like it's a four-hour film you know the unedited whatever version and i was like this is this is a lot um but yeah i mean it was a nice birthday you know in the grand scheme of things and it was raining an horrible all day so i was kind of like well it's, it's not perfect the worst. to stay in and it yeah not the worst thing to be in indoors but um but yeah that just was just briefly birthday. talk me through the spread Let's talk spread. So, I mean, it was just a classic. Uh, we had some cheese. We had okay. some Stillman. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to find the picture because I sent you a video. We had some Stilton. I can't remember what other cheeses there were, but there was crackers, obviously. Box of Heroes. Uh, mm. Scotch egg. Little mini, a lot of mini things. You know what I mean? Mini Scotch eggs. Mini sausages. Spring rolls. Mozzarella dippers. Deviled eggs. Oh, olive. yeah. Mozzarella dippers. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, no crisps, dip, you know, just imagine that. Imagine a party that no one came yeah. to. <laughs> exactly. Imagine, oh, and a whole cake, a whole cake as well. Was um, it like a birthday cake? It was, was a birthday it? cake, but it was, you know, like a fresh cream one. Mm. And I didn't think about this, but Alfie was like, hey, you got to get go to the fridge section if you're getting a cake, because that's where the nice ones are. You don't want one of the those ones. The boxed where ones in the box ones where yeah. it's like dry and shit. No. 
Get to yeah. the cold bit and get, you know, a cream. They're in there like not, a plastic. Like, not like a cre- yeah. They're in their sort of plastic casing, aren't they? Yeah, yeah and it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. guy playing football on the icing <laughs> and it's like, go! And I'm like, I'm not 10. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, but yeah, all in all, um, you know, an okay birthday. I have to, uh, I will forget this one thing. I had to tell you this one thing and then we can carry on with the pods. So last night I was at a sort of gathering, sort of Christmas gathering of the hag do lot. So the stag do, hen do people. And um, I've got to tell you this, as it happened, I was like, that needs to go on the podcast because that was insane. So we're playing a game. I don't know what the game's called, but what you do is you write three names of famous people and then put them in a bowl. And then there's three teams and one team, each team basically has to, has a minute to go through the bowl and um, describe each name they pull out of the hat as yeah. well as they can. Have you done this before? I've done it before, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'll explain it for the listeners. So the first round, you have to pull the names out of the hat and you can explain it as well as you want. You know, you can be like, so one of the names, say, is Shane McGowan. Be like, okay, lead singer from the Pokes, he just died. It's like, okay. So the second round, you only get one word. Okay. And so you just Intensifying like, the, uh, the difficulty. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and then the third round... You don't get any words. You just have to do an action. So, like, one of them was Slash. So, everyone's doing, like, air guitar. Like, you know, oh, there we go. So, (laughs) the third round. Right. So, I have to explain. (laughs) So bad. There was, in the hat, or whatever, the bowl, there was the name Elf. So, you know, the fictional character Elf from the film. Yes, 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 yes. Will Ferrell, yes. And there was also Ian Watkins, right? So... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> there, there was a baby at this party. Someone oh. had brought their baby along, right? <laughs> and uh, and the baby was dressed as an elf. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So it gets to the action round, like okay, act out or like pointer or you know just anything, but you can't use words. And uh, yeah, and so this it gets she pulls elf out of the hat. And she just starts pointing at the baby. And then someone goes, Ian Watkins. And it was like, (laughs) really good guess. Really good, really dark guess. But no, it's not Ian Watkins. So as that happened, I was like, that's brilliant. I've got to tell Ben that tomorrow. Um, Anyway, (laughs) that's me done. (laughs) Yep. You take over. Move on from uh, horrendous crimes. (laughs) (laughs) The worst crime ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh God, awful, awful stuff. Um, yeah, right. So, I'm not going to talk about my dad too much. Um, no. but I do want to. You know, I spoke about it uh, quite a bit last week. Yeah. Um, and you know, from that, w- we we've had a lot of nice messages from people. You know, messaged mm. um, directly. You know, DM'd on the old gram and um people so just you know thanks to all those people who have messaged and, and commented and um seems to have resonated a bit which is nice you know yeah um with people um but we got a series of emails from roger yeah aka the jolly roger um i'm just bringing them up now on my telephone i have four emails in total weren't there um, yeah, they were. You know, Rogers uh, he emailed one addressed to myself. Um, you know about yep. my dad and and some recent loss he's had. Um, and I won't read the whole thing, but um, very much appreciate your email, Lynn Jolly Roger. You know, and he finished up with people do listen to the pod, and your banter provides a lot of smiles on a lot of faces. Mm. Um, so thank you very much for emailing in. Um, he also messaged one addressed to you, George. Yeah. That was nice. I'll read a bit more of this one. Um, I've started going to a lot of gigs because you've been going to gigs like nobody's business. Loads of gigs. It's probably where you got COVID. It's hanging out with all that people. Where I got COVID. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Roger says he's over 50 now, but it doesn't stop him from moshing with the best of them. In fact, he caught COVID at a gig in 2021. He says, George, your taste in music sounds similar to mine. I'd like to offer you some suggestions of bands from the south of England. Uh, Roger's up in Scotland. 
Um, Skinny Lister. Mm. Have you heard of them? I feel like I have. I've I've heard of them because they, pretty sure they were on the same label as Auction Thief. Ah. They were on on Extra Mile when when we were on. Um, Never saw them, but heard very good things. Mm. Uh, Barstool Preachers. I've heard of them as well. I've not heard of them. It's just the name. He thinks they're from Brighton. And the Popes of Chilitown. Haven't now, heard of them. I have heard of them because I'm pretty sure about 10 years ago, not long when I actually moved down to Portsmouth, was that 12 years ago, um, Ox's band, Zegama Beach, did like a little local tour of the South. Yeah. Supported by Popes of Chilitown. There you go. So I have heard of them, not seen them, but... He's giving you some... uh, Yeah, I'll pop them on the list. Some suggestions. But also Roger's emailed in with some kit picks. Yes, which is what we asked for. Which we did ask for, so thank you very much. And he sent in a couple of pictures of his electric kit. Have you got them to hand, Sorry, I'm... I'm, Yeah. No. No. I'm on it. Are they they still just in our... Oh, fuck. Have you put them in a folder? I put them in listeners' emails, the folder listeners' emails. Do you want me to WhatsApp cool. to them? No, so no, 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 I'm on it, boy. No, I'm on it, boy. you want it? Got it. So we've got an Alessis electric kit. Yep. Uh, four toms. Yeah, love it. Four tom pads. You know, big mesh snare pad. What's he got there? Oh, fucking email. No, not email. What am I doing? He's got four cymbal hi-hat, two, looks like two crashes and a ride. I yep. also noticed there's a, a bass guitar and a guitar kicking Going around as well. Yeah, on one of them. Yeah. Um, there's also there's a keyboard. A, there's a piano, yeah, keyboard. Yeah. There's a there's a cajon. There is a cajon. There's a drum pra- there's a practice pad. But what I will say And he's all kitted out. What I will say, I think that's a lovely Tom the the ergonomics of the Toms is lovely. Yeah. That's very that's a very smooth It is smooth. So that looks to me, that looks like a pretty <laughs> solid setup. But yeah, thanks for and sending it. And it's hard in. to do that with an electronic kit get all the toms in a nice place because it is different it know? is yeah i think so. if i was going to have a gripe it would be the left the crash on the left i think that's more a restriction of the stands rather than yeah positioning maybe get a separate boom stand for that and get it a little bit less over the first rack tom a lovely smooth tom set up um, i mean it's just lovely kit he's also got the uh the snare on a actual snare stand yep but that that to me is a baller move. That's a pro move. That don't use the rack for that. No, you know. Yeah, that's get a honest an air stand. But that looks so good. good to me. Yeah, he's also mentioned he bought that kit through Gumtree. Uh, it was almost brand new and half the RRP recommended retail price. Um, <laughs> and that's a potential topic you haven't covered yet: where to buy kits and individual pieces. Yeah. Something we'll get onto maybe on another episode. Yeah. Um, but he's also mentioned about learning drums. Yes, which is he something started we spoke with about. the drums earlier this year. He lives in the country, so there were no drum teacher around here. So he signed up to Drumio. He paid two hundred forty quid for the year. He says it's a lot in one go, but compared to in person lessons, good value. I can use it whenever I want in the evenings and weekend. I find it to have a very good set of lessons to develop individual skills following the beginner classes. He doesn't use the community, but that is a benefit to many people. Thanks again. Regards, the Jolly Roger. Yeah. Um, lovely emails. Thank you very much. Lovely for Thank you for listening. Oh, he did yeah. mention he's been listening since episode eight. Yeah. So that's coming up to 100 episodes. I saw that bit and I thought, did he start at episode eight or did he then go back? Do you know Is it mean? like the American office where people go, don't bother with season one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't Just start with season two. Episode one to seven of us. Yeah. 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 Don't listen to the first two months. Rubbish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, thanks for getting in touch. Um and yeah, thanks to um everyone else who's who's messaged or commented about about my dad and that. Very yeah. much very nice and very much appreciated. Yeah, definitely. Speaking of kits, yes. Should we talk about what I've done? Yeah. Right. Well I what I liked, I'll tell you this, to what I like, <laughs> George. I like the little teaser DPD on the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is he getting? Because it's yeah, gear for music. That was a good chance to plug our video as well. The best thing I've ever done. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. The yeah, d- I've seen you play <laughs> and really all that, and I really think that is the best. <laughs> it really is. My that's God. all you've. That's all your ring gig. And I, yeah, no. The, nah, the delivery thing's nah. better. Um, 
I got a, I got an email from um and sorry, I just got an email through and that threw me off. I didn't get an email. No. No, I got delivery <laughs> from DPD. And uh what is it, you ask? Well, it's silencing shit. That's all I'll say. Um <laughs> Obviously, that's not all I'll say. That'd be weird if I just stop there. I got silence, m- silent mesh heads for the kit. Yeah, yeah. Basically, for my my little practice room, I have because I've talked about it before. And there's sort of, you know, there's a rule: can't play real drums until five ish. And there's only one rule: big beats are the best. <laughs> get high all the time. And uh, so I was like, well, let's look into, you know. How much? How much it is to just be able to play drums all day? You know, right? Okay, um, so right, right, right. So yeah, you can't play your full setup at between certain times. Yeah. So you're going. I want to be able to play. I want to be able to play beats all day. Yeah, high all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. exactly. So uh, talk me well, through your process. I want to know. I want to know. So you're going. Okay, maybe I should. Yeah, well, get some of this silent shit. Well, that we've been banging on about. Yeah, originally. Yeah, well, exactly. I thought. Well, we've talked about it enough. Let me look back into it. So originally, I was yeah. just going to get talked about sit- it enough, and no one's come forward with sponsorship. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. I might, I'll, yeah. I'll have to. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll have myself. to buy it myself. Okay, yeah, yeah. So originally, I was just looking at symbols and little bit of symbol, <laughs> and so. I was like, okay, well, the Zildjian ones are about three hundred and fifty yes. quid. The L eighties, yeah, I believe. Yeah, um, I was like, that's a lot. Let's see what you can get for cheaper. I'm, and on I'm like only part time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> and on the list of like best symbols to get, um, Zildjian's top. But then second place on most things were just gear for music, silent symbols. And I was like, their own brand. Okay. Their own brand. Yeah. And I was like, let's look it up. And it was, uh, I think, yeah, 100 quid for hi hat. Well, it's not a ride. It's an 18 inch symbol and a 16 inch symbol. And then hi hats. Undefined. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Undefined. Yeah. And I was like, they'll do. Why label it? Why, why label, label it? it? Yeah. yeah why free. put a label on it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, well, let's look into Tom skins as well, you know? And I think it sort of popped up. It was like, do you also want to buy this? And there was a mesh head. People who f- buy these yeah, usually exactly. buy these. Yeah. <laughs> and exactly. it really makes sense with that because sometimes on Amazon, it's like, you're buying. Um, this yeah some other people buy well, what That's what other people do you also, also want yeah a torch yeah no. no no i don't i'm buying a cheese grater why would i need a yeah. torch yes. not bare grills um <laughs> so anyway <laughs> <your face. laughs> yeah okay yeah um so but it popped up mesh drum head tom head for four quid and i was like four quid that's a wow, steal four quid and uh, and then I looked into it, and it was like, oh, you can get a set of five mesh heads, add it to the symbols for twenty quid, and it was all the sort of sizes. Blimey. And I was like, oh, hello. So I managed for one hundred twenty quid. I've got the three symbols, and then I've managed to reskin the snare, low tom, high tom. Sadly, the kick one was a different size because I've got an eighteen inch kick, and it came with a twenty inch mesh okay. head. So yeah. what I've done with the kick is just put a load of just oats and shit in there, just sort of mud and dirt and whatever I can yeah. find. Um, some cabbage and just some cabbage, yeah. yeah. Fuck off, I'm Clive Owen. <laughs> <laughs> it's mental. It's one of my favourite bits. It's one of my favourite bits. Just oats and shit. Ben is doing a scene from extras, in case yeah. you're wondering. Um so yeah, and I got it all in yesterday. Or day before, doesn't matter. Who cares? Doesn't recently. matter. Doesn't matter. Uh, day, the day after I bought it, that's sure. that's important. Um, and yeah, it's great. It's it takes a bit of getting used to. It's a bit weird because the hi hats are a bit. I mean, they don't sound like hi hats. I mean, they do and they don't. It's hard to explain. They sort of it's a different feel. But um, but well, you're gonna have to do a nice video. I will to- do a nice video. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just nice. It's just nice. I'm like, oh, now I can just play whenever but also not just that but the toms the toms are just the toms now that's just how they are do you know what i mean i'm not gonna if i want to play loud i'm not gonna change the tom head every time but the kick is fine it's pretty quiet but it's fine basically if i want to start playing loud 
Just get my other snare in. That has a real skin. Right, yeah. Change the symbols out. You know, so, were, okay, I've got questions. Yeah. I've got questions. Go on. Shoot. I've got questions. First, Shoot. how was DPD? Great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got, was it got, next day? Yeah, it was next day. And I didn't, it, I didn't think it would be because I ordered on the Friday and it said, oh, if you order with this thing, you'll get it next day. And then it came through. It was like, this will come Monday. And I was like, whoa, what? And they were like, next working day. But then I got another one like, no, it's coming tomorrow. It's like, sweet. Um, yeah, I got the name of the guy bringing it. I got the... Uh, the owl window. Know, you're 35 in the queue. You will be number 65. And I was like, great. Um, and I was so excited that I saw the shut van yourself? pull up. No, saw the van pull up. Huh? Yeah. Shut, I just wonder if you're so excited. You <laughs> shut yourself. I, 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 yeah, a little bit, a little yeah. bit. Um, and I was so excited, the van pulled up, and I sort of went to my door ready, and he didn't even ring the bell, I sort of opened it, and he was Freak like, him out right, like that. which Freak flat him are out. you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Freak him out. I was like, I saw you coming. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nah. yeah. And he, he, did, he was sort of, he was I can too... see you on the map. Yeah. I know where you <laughs> yeah, are. Yeah, I saw you coming. Yeah. Uh, say yeah. his name. Um and then, uh, but yeah. Just as he's coming in, he's just <laughs> whispering his name. Jason. <laughs> Jay, just out the window. Jason. I don't know if his name is Jason, but. I can't, um, I feel like it's Alistair. Not to out him on okay. here, but thank you, Alistair. And then he took the photo. That's always weird, isn't it? That's a new, I mean, not new, but in the last few years, you know, to prove yeah. that they've taken it, they take a picture of your legs, you know, yeah. and you hold it. I like to pose. <laughs> Do you? Take a nice one. Let's, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. don't just go for the mid I mean, hole in the parcel. Let's, yeah, let's show off. Yeah, this is it. You know, in is the pants. lighting all right? Yeah, get this side. This is my better side. Got a classic <laughs> profile. <laughs> yeah, be like, do you know what you should do? Get all of freshman year around when you get in a delivery and be like, look, mate, we we can't afford a photo shoot, so. <laughs> He's gonna stand in with his parcel. Yeah, if you need a yeah passport photo, <laughs> just or any yeah just yeah or uh, you're selling your house or something. Yeah, just oh I just and then he's trying to take the phone. You just run around the house and he keeps trying to snap you. And then you're like, cool, can you send them all over? <laughs> Put them on right move. Yeah, yeah, uh, there you that's go. good. That's good. DPD. Sell in a minute. Because um, I, I am I right in thinking you? Yeah, very they're good. Not, they're not top of your list. They're not top of your I don't know. Well, they might be now. I'd say they are now. I think I just, I had so many from every and they were always fine. But DPD, as Jay Sakura said, it's the window. It's the window. It is the window. Give me the window. window. Okay, so that's good. Right. So. (laughs) Moving on. Snare drum. So what snare have you put the mesh head on? Which one have I sacrificed? Well, I've sacrificed the, uh, my first and, for a while, only snare, uh, the Black Panther, just okay. because I prefer the other one at the moment, yeah. and um, and also there isn't loads of gigs coming up, you know. Yeah, that's a dry, getting, barren winter. Into January, yeah. so I was like, okay, I'm going to quick fire questions. These are going to be quick fire. Yeah, quick, 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 quick. Um, so you still just got the same reso on the snare? Yep. And you keep the snare wires on? Yep. Cool. Okay, Tom's. Yeah. Have you kept the resos on? Yep. What are the resos? Do you know? Ooh, I think it was just uh, whatever Natal. Just a standard Natal yeah, stock, standard one ply, single yeah, 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 ply. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. Here's a question. Yeah, go on. Would it be possible if you wanted to play full kit to just turn the toms over? If you put like G2s on the bottom of the toms. It's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Should we, should we have a little could... hit? Hold on. Haven't seen how it sounds without. Whoa, hello. I mean, that's still, yeah, you probably could. It's quite a good idea. I mean, you'd struggle with the low tom, but... Is the low tom, how, is it on legs? Yeah. But... Um, might, be, might be possible. Might be po- I've never turned I'm a low tom. I'm just thinking that as a quick... Because, you know, I've got G2s on the bottom of my toms. Yeah. So they are batter heads. I just thought with the toms, you can just, just, just flip them around. Not a bad idea, actually. And see how it sounds. Like, how does the mesh, you know, is yeah. this, does the bottom reso skin have any effect on the mesh head, or is it essentially irrelevant? Yeah. But then if you just flip it around, maybe it's not gig worthy to have no. a reso, you know, a batter on the bottom and then the re- uh, mesh on the top. Yeah. If you flip it over to have the mesh head as a reso, might sound awful. Don't know. 
that's that's well, bit, what I'd like time, you to try, George. I, I will, and at the same time, it doesn't matter if it sounds awful. It's just I'm not gigging this kit, you know. This exactly. kit stays in exactly. here. I mean, it's not I, my kit; it's Pat's kit. Sure, you know what I mean. Sure. Um, so let's talk um, symbols then. Let's talk about okay, symbols. Yeah. Um, how are they to play? They're. Do you know what they're? Apart from the high, I think it's just the sound of the hi hat that sounds different, and I think getting used to like. What I was trying to get used to yesterday, I was, I was practicing a groove, was the snare is quieter than the hi-hats, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So it's like I really had to learn to play the hi-hat quieter than I was playing the snare. Otherwise, it was all getting lost. But they're fine. They, they feel like cymbals. I mean, the crash is just like, you know, that feels like a crash. And the ride has the same sort of feel of a ride. And the hi hats feel like a hi hat, you know. But it is the the only thing, yeah, I've struggled with is like, yeah, the 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 drums feel a lot quieter than the cymbals. Yeah. So you really okay. have to like hold back on the cymbals. But that isn't too much of an issue. And you know, it's uh, yeah, it's. But I think it, it's perfect for practicing. It really is. Yeah. Because it's just like, you know, it's um my way of thinking if i can sound good on this then when it comes to a real kit it'll be okay do you know what i mean i mean control what you can control but sure. sadly i you know I'm not playing my real kit practice wise so but you've got you know you've got the thing set up yeah there's, there's definitely feels more real than an electric oh my god yeah yeah, yeah. and it's just yeah. nice that this is any time now do you know what i mean because before i was yeah. like right wait till five and now i'm like it's, yeah Here's a question I've asked, we've asked before while discussing silent symbols. Yeah. Do you think you could gig with those symbols? I don't know. I think I think the hi-hats, you probably could, because they really feel like hi-hats. And maybe the ride, probably not the crash. The crash doesn't crash like a crash, you know? But I think yeah. the hi-hats, I, I see what Jay Sikora was on about. I mean, even though he had Zildjian ones, which were, I think they're the best ones. Yeah, you know, it's like you can get. They do sound like a hi hat, you know. But yeah. I think what would be funny is when I go back to real symbols. Maybe I'll be so used to this, and then you'll be like, be like "Christ, they are Jesus loud!" Like, yeah, because literally, you can. <laughs> I yesterday you can put a song on your iPhone or whatever, just play it out of the iPhone speaker and play along. Do you know what I mean? It's that uh, quiet. Yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. like, and yeah. So, it, I mean, the snare alone, I tried to do like a before and after. So I hit the snare with my actual snare skin. And it was like, there's a snare. And then I p hit this and I was just like, oh, it is, you know, it is a mesh head. Um, yeah. Do you get much of snare sound? Do you get much? Not really, like, no. No, I no. think that was part of the problem. But I, I, might, I might experiment today. I might tighten it up a bit more and see if I can change it a bit because it was... Yeah, so do you get much like. give with even just tuning the top head? Do you get much, like, does that make much of a difference? The tension you can put on? Yeah, I mean, it the, does the feel heads. like a snare. The The only thing that I'm going to struggle with, I think, is, you know, I'm trying to... Playing the drums. Playing the drums. Is I'm going to... I'm trying more, <laughs> more, more and more to um, rim shot all the time. And it's like, you feel like you can't really practice rim shots on this because you can't tell yes as much yeah. if you're doing a rim shot but yeah generally it's all it's all pretty good <laughs> speaking of other kits and stuff i don't know where mm. we we're going to go with the chat but i i'm definitely i know we were saying start to look into where to buy kits and stuff like that Yep. I am definitely in the market for a smaller kit. I want to get okay. a gigging kit. I don't want to carry my big bass drum. Be right the anymore. behemoth. Yeah, yeah, and I was thinking about it, and I was like, for like functions and stuff, it's just, what's the point? What is the point of lugging that around? Do you know what I mean? Because when it's yeah. like, yeah. it gets yeah. mic'd up anyway. And I saw someone post about it the other day, and they were like, oh, this is my gig kit. And it packs away in three bags and I can do it in one trip from the car. And I was like, fuck it, that's the dream, you know? And it didn't even look that small. So I think that's definitely next on my list. And then just how okay. I have a wedding kit and it just, I can get 
get it in the boot, you know? Yeah. And then yeah. that's it, rather than... What sort of sizes are you looking at? I don't know. I mean, even what I've got here, what I'm playing on here, works. You know what I mean? 18 and kick, is it 18, 18 kick? kick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I don't want it to be too ridiculous. Sometimes you see someone and it's just like... Yeah, you get those little small. ones where the, the kick drum is like... It's like the size of a rack tom. Yeah, and, and the, 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 the legs are yeah. just... Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I yes, don't yes, want yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, something no, no, like no. this, because it's like... The kick's mic'd anyway. You don't need a fucking whatever I've got. 26 by a thousand kick drum, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that's next on my list. So I think we do need to have a, I don't know, chat about where do you buy kits, you know. Gumtree, yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook Marketplace, you know. Yeah. They're always on there. And yeah. So you can get some good shit. You know what I mean? Mm. But mm. we'll save that for another day. Um, you got anything else? Yes. A uh, couple of things, if you will. Uh, Entertain you. Yes, that's the phrase. That's the phrase. That's the phrase. Um, one is so I mentioned at the end of last episode, uh, I did a oh, freshman yeah. year gig, and in the lead up to the gig, the agency got in touch with me and said, uh, "The guy who's booked you wants to know if he could play your drums." Yeah. And not long before, I'd written a very good reply to another request, basically saying no, um, and I sent that same reply. Back and he wanted to play No One Knows by Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. So I said no, it was fine. Um, and then they asked us to play that song as a special request. Yeah. Anyway, so first of all, I was like, that's oh, quite fiddly, but whatever. Yeah, I'll learn it. But anyway, so we we, we did the gig um, and it was a joint 40th. They were dressed as, they'd all dressed up as sort of like punk rockers, you know. Yeah. Worked really well, like we were the right band for the thing. And, you know, we had a very good, it was a very good gig. But he, we were chatting when we got there to the guy. And he just was chatting to Neil. And he, he did sort of, they were talking about the evening and blah, blah, blah. And he kind of did just drop in. Oh, yeah, I did ask if I could play the drums. Yeah. And Neil, knowing that, just, just just swept over that comment yeah or just you know um but anyway so when it came round to the the party because the good thing about doing functions or like that or parties is people don't arrive till after you've set up yeah so you're, you're setting up and sound checking in an empty room yeah, it's true rather yeah. than like a wedding where they're all having dinner yeah and you're like excuse me yeah um but anyway so they all turn up and he's dressed you know with fake sleeve tattoos and they're all dressed like punky you know yeah and in the, in the the one of the belt um, sleeves on his jeans was a pair of drumsticks. Yeah. And I'm thinking, part of the costume or opportunist? Yeah. Like, are you wishfully thinking, oh, well, maybe later he'll let me. <laughs> or maybe I'll, you know. And then love, he was a nice guy, friend of a friend, actually, turns out. But he spent most of the gig enjoying it. Yeah. But stood pretty much in front of me, air drumming. With the sticks? At one point, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, a lot of it without the sticks. But just basically stood in front of me, just air drumming. Yeah. And it's like, great, you're having a good time. Yeah. But it's like, I really think you're hoping yeah. that I'll go, come on. Yeah. Come on, come on, play. Yeah. Come on. And I'm there just, nope. No. Nope. No. And I just think... <sighs> Let it go, mate. Yeah. Let it go. <laughs> but if you're doing, I, if you're just doing it because you you're having fun. Yeah. But I don't think the sticks are part of the costume. No. No, definitely. I really not. don't think they were. But anyway, it was a good gig. Yeah, it was good fun. Oh bless. Oh, you. but this was the other thing. Uh, no one told us it was eleven o'clock curfew. Oh wow. No one told us. We we midnight. We said to the guy when we arrived, the guy who booked us. You know, midnight finish. He was like, yep. Yeah. So we pushed our set a bit later because people yeah. only arrived at like eight. So we went, did nine till ten, and we're like, I oh, will do half ten to half eleven. And we got yeah. like six songs into the second set. And then the guy from the venue came over and was like, one more song, yeah? We're like, what? He's <laughs> like, yeah, all music has to be off at eleven. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. It just, there were so many bangers coming up in that last <laughs> 40 I hate minutes. That. Yeah. And it's that weird thing, it's that thing you're in that position, like, what do we do? Like, yeah. we don't want to piss off the venue. Like, if if it's got to stop, it's got to stop. But also, yeah. 
well, they've paid for us to do two hours and yeah. we've only done an hour and 20. Yeah. But it worked all right. We just did like skipped a few and went to sort of some big ones at the end and the venue let us do an extra 15 minutes. Yeah. You know, and then the, the guy's birthday was, was like, oh, can you just put some music on? And we were like, yeah. And then the venue were like, can you turn it off? We're like, yeah. <laughs> so all yeah. in all, early finish. That was good. Nice. Um, but yeah, that was funny. It's, it's a funny one. I'll just say when yeah, with my band when everything's running late and we go, Oh well, let's just play our first set and then we'll cut some songs from the second set and I'm like, No, let's not do that. Let's cut them all from the first set because I hate the first set and then we'll do the bangers, you know what I mean? It's like we'll just play yeah. the first seventeen, which are all like Mumford and Sons and you know, Johnny Cash. But just just a lesson to people if you're booking a band, if you're organising an event, check what the fucking yeah, restrictions yeah, yeah. are. Yeah. Cause it's that thing wasn't our fault no and we did ask him when yeah, we arrived yeah. just, oh midnight and he went yeah well that's weird but I think I don't think he knew no so I, I don't know what I don't know what went just a lack of communication yeah and it thankfully it didn't put too much of a sour note you know on it but you know we did play another sort of five or six songs so yeah, it was okay nice. but um, yeah other than that I did a cheeky little scratch band military Christmas party the other night yeah. easy um, but I think to finish, I don't know if there's anything else you've got. Hang to, on, what um, about DVDs in the care home? You well, that's that. what I'm getting on to. Oh, right, okay, well, yeah, I'm done. Tell me what this is. Yeah, so um, I won't go into why, but I went to an old, I went to a care home. I'm a bit uh, worried that the, I won't go into why. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> went to a care home uh, to visit someone's nan okay. who's recently moved in. Couldn't you just said that? I, I, yeah, I, I don't know. All sorts of thoughts. I like to leave mystery. Yeah, that was mystery. You know, we tell a lot of truths, yeah. sure. <laughs> but let's leave a little... I don't know why. I went to a care home. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'm just sort of, you know, there's a lot of dementia kicking around. <laughs> no one knows who I am. Is that I'm just looking after the dog. The episode title. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But I was just looking around, you know, it's they're very odd places and and I'm just sort of sat there really, just looking around. Yeah. And I spot I spot the, the DVD rack. Right. There's like a DVD, you know, a collection yeah, yeah, yeah. of DVDs. And like, it's quite far across the room, but I'm just having a look. And it just fascinated me. Some of the I've made a list. Yeah. <laughs> and bearing in mind, like, you know, all elderly, all pretty much with dementia. Yeah. Was it a dementia care home? I don't know. It's quite a small care home. I, th I think maybe it is. Yeah. Um, you know, in just in the room, there's just an old lady. It's, it's like going in Derek. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Oh, it is. It's... No, it's just an old woman just asleep on a chair. Yeah. And, and it's, do you know what's worrying? Because I've worked in old people's care homes, and you look at some of them, you go, I think she's dead. And then they sort of, you know, Jolie, wake up! <laughs> you know, and then <laughs> you sort of shake her. What? You know, oh, she's not dead. It's okay. Full song. Yeah. yeah. But I just had a look and I just thought, obviously these DVDs have been donated, you know. Yeah. But I just I just had visions because I'll just go through some of them I saw and I thought it was quite interesting for, you know, a bunch of sort of 80, 90 year olds with dementia to watch. Uh, Taken. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Breaking Bad box set. Yep. Snatch. Yep. Karate Kid. Bloody hell. Hannibal. There's a theme. Yeah. I am legend. Yeah. And the one that I like the best, Blade. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine them all sat around. That's... Janine, Janine. Yeah. What do you want on? Blade. Yeah, yeah. And just watching Wesley Snipes just going <laughs> mental in a club, <laughs> pouring with blood through the sprinklers, just slashing up vampires. Yeah. Oh, I like this bit. <laughs> you know, that's why it was brilliant. Yeah. Good film, though. Good film. They're good films. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah, good films. Lock them. And they've got their. You know, not to be insensitive, they've got the the beauty of, well, they watch them and then the next time they watch them, it's yeah. like the first time. This is it. They can watch it literally the same day. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I've never Just seen it. This. play again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I, I sort of wish I could watch The Prestige for the first time again. Yeah. Because that was brilliant. Shall I end with but, yeah. my dementia care home joke? Let's do it. So there's a comedian and he's doing a set at a care home for people to, with dementia. And he walks on stage, he's, he's booked to do an hour. He's like, fucking hell, I've got to do an hour in front of these, you know, old people. Let's, let's just get through it. So he walks on stage, does the first joke, and uh, everyone's laughing. All the old people are pissing themselves. And he's like, 
I've got an idea. So then he waits for the applause to die down. He just tells the same joke again. He's like, brilliant. Same applause, same laughter. And then for an hour, he just keeps retelling the same joke. Every time it's the same, every time it's the same laughter and applause. And after an hour, he just, you know, ends. But the whole time, there'd been one old guy at the back who was sort of just sat there, arms folded, watching him, not laughing. And he was like, hmm, okay, you know. And he was like, fuck, I don't think I fooled that guy. And uh, so at the end of the gig, this old guy comes up to him and goes, I've got a question for you, mate. And he's like, fuck, you know, been rumbled here. And he goes, how do you remember all that? Good, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's great. Anyway, we'll see you next week. Bye. bye bye. Thank you for listening to Drum and Drummer. You can find us on Instagram at Drum and Drummer Podcast. And you can send us an email to Drum and Drummer Pod at gmail.com. Remember, just pick up the sticks and twat it. <laughs> <laughs>